Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and yes, finally I got a little bit free uh, to make all videos for YouTube and stuff again. I was traveling back and forth to Delhi for a lot of visa issues. Some countries visa is like a nightmare, especially if you're dealing up with a business visa. Anyways, let's keep this apart. I will make a separate video discussing about that. But let's talk and come back onto the agenda of this video. So I was replying to a lot of messages on my Facebook and one message was really very interesting. And it asked me, hey Tesh, uh, you are so passionate about coding and programming, which I am. I absolutely love that part. And it always lits my eyes when I talk about programming. So yes, yeah, somebody was saying that you are so much passionate about programming. What is, what is the thing that actually makes you love about programming? And I thought that, yes, this is an interesting question and I would like to answer that in a particular separate dedicated video. So in this video, I would like to talk about my personal reasons why I love programming. And I'm going to give you like five of them majorly. And we are going to keep one special topic out of this completely separate, which is the money part. Let's get started. First and foremost, let's keep the money part away. Yes, programming makes a lot of money and with programming everybody makes a good amount of money. During my master's I was offered a job with more than 100,000 US dollars uh, sitting at Amazon office working on NS3 projects for their uh, tablets and all those stuffs but it was all good and again I have been repeatedly being offered more than that. Uh, in my lifetime so money is really good thing but as everybody says if you are coming into any profession just for money whether that's photography gym or programming you are not going to stay long you have to actually love the love the particular thing first and then automatically the money is going to flow up and i would not disagree on the point that money is a necessity for everyone and if you are thinking that hey we don't do it for money you are naive my dear friend eventually the harsh reality of life is going to hit to you and uh, things are gonna go up from there so money is obviously the necessary part but yes there are certain things which are above the money which makes you love about your profession and that are the things I want to discuss in this thing so what are these things which I absolutely love about programming first and foremost thing which I absolutely love about programming is creating things and as soon as you're gonna share the same feeling with me you will also love programming now programming is not about writing loops and printing just patterns from 1 to 10 or printing a pyramid pattern. It is way beyond that and sadly most of the Indian universities and especially the universities abroad as well just deal up with these kinds of things and printing patterns. And this is the bad part of the code. Everybody hates that when your programs don't run or you have to print those crappy patterns. But trust me, once and you move forward into the next leap of faith in programming, you're going to absolutely love that. You're, you'll be able to create amazing websites, amazing apps, amazing machine learning models that can help in doing the things that nobody else can. Like, for example, detecting the things of cancer cells and all these things, uh, predicting the future results. Maybe these are right, maybe these are wrong, but actually you have like godlike power that makes you so much love in programming. So that's the number one reason I love creating things, I love building the things. In my free time, I do a lot of them. So that's the number one reason I love programming. The number two reason is it makes a difference when you are a programmer. I know it's not something that big you are doing like compared to other things. Maybe some politician is making a revolutionary change in some countries. Yes, we are nowhere near that, but somehow we have the power to make a difference in a big sense. For example, imagine Google created by programmers. Now imagine your world or a day or a second in life without Google. It's, it's almost impossible. You have other things like YouTube. You're watching videos, getting inspired by that. You're learning so much the things uh, from YouTube created by programmers. Uber, Ola, these uh, DD and uh, Lyft, all these things are making a big difference. Now I felt that when I created a project, uh, it was a simple project. It was just a simple Android app that I created for a client and the client, she was a very nice lady. And she said, hey Tesh, I absolutely loved your videos and I want you to create my app. I don't have much money to offer, but whatever I can, I can surely do that. And she, all she asked was, I, I should be able to give that app to my clients. And she was running a business of house cleaning. She was taking the contract of cleaning up all the houses. And she wanted to give that client, uh, give that app to all the clients so that they can just book their appointment, can see when the slots are filled or empty and just gives that onto her email. Very simple app to perform or to do 
but I realized that somehow I was able to make a difference. I was able to make her life easier and support her in her business. And obviously she grew up with that app. Later on, I got bigger project in that. So somehow this feeling that yes, I am as a programmer making a difference. I can change the entire business from a low level to high level. This is the feeling that I actually love about programming. Whether you're working in a big company like Yahoo, Google, Amazon, maybe Flipkart, Netflix, or Amazon, whatever that is, it's you're something, you're a part of something bigger. And actually we are making a peaceful world. We are, we are the next revolution. And that's probably the one of the biggest part that I love programming. The third thing that I love being a programmer or why do I love programming is the constant phase of learning. Now, you might have noticed if you are following me on the Facebook or Instagram and all these things, I'm a workaholic. I love to work, I love to run, I love to learn, I love to read all these things. And in the programming, you cannot just survive without learning. If you have learned a particular thing, let's just say that's a Java or JavaScript or Swift or Objective-C and you think that, hey, that's okay, I'm gonna live my life with that. You're not gonna survive in programming for long and that's one of the reasons I love programming constant learning phase you have to evolve you have to adapt otherwise you're going to be obsolete there so make sure you understand that if you're coming into programming there is a never-ending learning phase if you love to learn the reading from the documentation from the books from courses technology is going to be evolving a lot every single day new versions are coming up for android for ios web is evolving quite a lot everything is evolving and will be evolving so if you are just like me, who is a constant learner, who likes to learn every single day, then yes, definitely programming is for you. Now the third and fourth reason are very personal one and I actually want to share it with you. The fourth reason why I love programming is it's not very expensive. Now when I was in my electronics degree, I was doing my graduation in electronics and communication, uh, we wanted to build a robot and we didn't have enough money to uh, buy the parts to build that robot and I, I, asked, I, I asked myself that hey if it is going to be like that and if my this all part just goes into crap I was not able to fix it properly I don't even have money to buy the next one if it goes keep on going like that I don't even have like the college to support me to buy new things or my family cannot afford all these things probably things have changed quite a lot but this is all personal reason and when I saw computer and programming and I was like if anything goes wrong I can delete my file or format a computer and it's just brand new it really amazed me that yes this is something I want so lack of money was my one of my personal reason I came into programming and I loved it absolutely it might not be the reason for you but since the question was asked to me personally I this is one of the reason that it's not very expensive I do understand totally that sometimes to do the things like uh, maybe you want to build a model in machine learning that requires a lot of uh, GPU power or maybe you want to release an Android and iOS app it costs you a little bit money maybe you want to learn from an in-person boot camp or some expensive online courses it can be expensive there but compared to other things it's nowhere expensive just imagine you pay one-time fees to Apple and you can release n amount of apps into their store probably one or two apps hits really big and that's it you got your money back same for Android just like 25 or 30 dollars for really releasing X amount of apps throughout the life just one or two app hits really good and you can do you can make really good amount of money with that so I think it's really good it's not the cheapest one among the there but I personally feel like it's really kind of affordable for everyone the last and the fifth reason is a little bit controversial a lot of you might not like what I'm saying in here one of the reasons why I love programming is because it shows equality. Coding is all about equality. It doesn't really conflict based on what kind of race you belong, what kind of country you belong. You might be white, you might be black, you might have a different surname, you might have a different country, your country might have issue from my country. It doesn't really care about that. All it cares is code is right and that's it, it's gonna run. If everything goes right, it's going to run it. So based on your cost, your gender, your religion, your color, it doesn't discriminate. And that's the one thing which I absolutely love about programming. Now, in case you are not from my country or India, uh, let me give you a straight fact, which a lot of people don't even like to discuss about it, which is a sad reality of my country, is in my country, if you want a government job or maybe you want a high profile college, then your family name or your surname is playing a big role in here 
and that's the sad reality which I don't like about it because what's what you have to do about your surname you cannot do it it's, it was not a choice that was given to you but sadly based on your surname you are treated differently and uh, that's the saddest part and since you are being treated differently you get different privileges in exams suppose you have X surname you get 80 marks out of 100 and somebody has a Y surname he and he gets uh, like 40 marks yes literally 40 marks that guy from the 40 marks will be selected in a particular a government job or maybe in a prestigious college in India and what I love about coding is it doesn't discriminate about that all you have to care about you just have to write code if it goes right uh, your app is going to make a revolution, your, your project, your framework, your library, whatever you are designing, it's going to just go skyrocket. And it's not about like it's the only issue in my country. Every country has issues and everybody knows about the American issue of white and black. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can just write your code. It doesn't really care about what kind of color you are wearing on your skin, which was not even at your choice. Still, uh, you can make a big difference in the world. It doesn't really care you're Asian, you're American, you're Indian, you're Pakistani, you're Bangladeshi. It doesn't, doesn't really discriminate you based on anything. And probably this is the biggest reason of all why I love and absolutely love programming. I can totally understand that a lot of people are not going to like what I said at the end of this video. Uh, because a lot of people don't like that uh, they, when somebody says things about caste or color or anything. But these are my personal thought. I don't like discrimination based on gender, caste, or any color or anything like that. But again, I totally agree that people have different opinions about these things and I totally respect your opinion. These are the things which are very personal and I just said it what I felt. So feel free to disagree with me if you don't like these points. Totally okay, totally fine. And that's all I wanted to say in this video. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. In case you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And do let me know what are your reasons why you love programming. I will check out all of the comments. So do notify me in the comment section why you love programming. Hit that subscribe and we're gonna surely meet in the next video.